So this is a map. I mean, now I'll show you. I like it. So one of the first things I did was I made several prefabs. This is a retail row prefab. So uh, I just need to fix this real quick. Let me show you what I did. I basically, yeah, I'll try to get the exact one so you guys know. This is one of my more interesting ones too. So this is what I did. I went to settings. I went to uh, this. And for this one, I believe I just went to retail row. So, it should be under, uh, yep, yeah, re retail row. So, this is a different one. Use it too. Doesn't matter. So, I click this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. And for the houses, I think I did Plaza Park, if I'm correct. Yeah, Plaza Park. So, you can make any map you want. I mean, this is a really small space. Like, over there is only 50. And the whole thing all together is only like 200 or, yeah, 130. So, size uh, size does not matter too much. So this is builds, so the player actually spawns in here. Now, there's several ways to do this. You have to do this setting. So I play on team 3. I want to start and not visible during games. So when I, I'll show you in a few minutes that when I start it, you won't see it. And you could do any of these. This is all I did. Probably Gord group is probably important but that's why I did for those you can also put it on any and it doesn't matter because any is the exact same thing it'll just any will it the player could spawn anywhere so this only team three could spawn here only team two could spawn uh right there only team one right here team seven you see and if you want to do a style like me where you put tons of builds around this one to protect the guy off spawn you might want to uh, make sure you do it not like for example one two three four or something like that you want to look at the I know one two this is three up here four should be right there five is all the way over there I don't know where I think six might be right here seven right here see so you want to spread out it's good to go you start here at two next to each other Go a little bit away, I went in the center. Go a little bit away, other one. A little bit away, another one. A little bit away, another one, etc. That's what I suggest. So if you the team ones, like this, the way I'm going to show you, you only can have 16, because that's the maximum you need. So this is how you set the player spawns. You just do it for example, C. Exact same thing. Pretty easy. Just copy for all. You have these la these uh, pre edits, you just throw them down. This is actually floating. I threw this down, several of them, to make sure. So what I did is I put this down first. I threw the house down right on top of it. And then I built a lot of floors after all the houses were done. Like this, I built this. And I would quickly show you where you guys could find this. These spawn with the thing. You can also find trees and light posts. Cars. It's quite easy. So... For that stuff, you don't want to be on the prefabs, you want to be in galleries. And then usually, for most of them, you want to be in the very top rows. For example, uh, they really listed terrain is what I used, used. I believe I used this one for that. Because it looks like the right color. No, I didn't use that one. I used this one. That That's the one I used. But for the roads... I did, for the roads, you kind of want to go to a vehicle. Sometimes they have it, sometimes they don't. See? Roads right here. So that's how you want to add roads. You have tons. These are these are harder ones to connect. You want to be careful of these. These ones are a little easier. It gives you more options. See, this one gives you two. I meant three options. This gives you several. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See? There's also these, I guess these will tie in a little bit, but these, again, this is for Neo Tilted. I really wouldn't suggest using these. I also wouldn't suggest using these ones, but you can. These are for like special Pleasant Park ones, so if you ever make a Pleasant Park, these are special for it. And for trees, you just merely go to nature. Thousands of trees, colorful rocks, ice, even purple ones and pink. Get some water too. This is more of a lava color. It is a little animated. 
And this is monkey water, black water, etc. So that's how you do that. Now, the next thing you want to do after you get this whole layup down and put all your prefabs in. What I would suggest to do is go to uh, add guns. And I did that under here because I want it to be really accessible. Yeah, see, this is why I use, see, for the roads. This is why I did. Now, I believe it started over here. Yeah. So, what you do, and this is very important, pay attention. You go you go to team one and grant ammo items on the respawn. Alright. You can do some other stuff too, like I think uh, uh, over here, you can add names, default class. These, I, you can do anything with these, doesn't really matter. Visible game doesn't matter, this doesn't matter. Great. This is a good thing, it's all Mac Leon, so you don't have to do it, but it usually gives you a little extra ammo. Unless you try to make it. You know, there's tons of stuff you do here for custom players. I usually just make it 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc. All the way down 16. <clears throat> you can't exceed 16 right away because there's only 16 teams. See? You, you, you have it on all, but then everyone gets it. It's not really that good. So, this is what I suggest for adding a loadout. A lot of times players want to do 500 max. So, you simply go here. Go to the consume roles first. Go one, 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 one. And depending on what you have, you can add more. Like if you have RPG, you might want to add four bullets. Have a shotgun, you might you probably just only need 20. But if you have AR, you might want to add more. Minigun, definitely add more. Sniper, never worry about sniper ammo. Because if you get killed, you get 100 more from each person. So that's not a big thing. And after you did all that, you could choose heals. And depending on how you want to play, you could do only shield only meds i would suggest a lot of players in like actual games they won't they won't carry this to end game but they won't have time to use it so i would suggest only carrying minis big pots bam bazooka i thought was good maybe it's good maybe it's not i would add that the, the weapons you and the heals you definitely want is minis big pots uh truck splashes slurp fish and all the other fish right here now, I don't ever add a lot of these in, except for the harpoon right here. Because these, yeah, th these are really more of duo weapons. You might not think of it, but in solos, you won't actually carry. Like these, you might carry these. Might. This, definitely not. This, no, 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 no. None of that. So, you shouldn't put it in. You could. They make it more fun. I'm not saying you can. But I would and after you get all that, you know, with heals here, for example, one, two, three, and usually you want shield and white, so one, two, three, four, five, six. You go to weapons, and you do everything. I would never do the thing with personally. That's just me. But I want well, the best strategy to do is one legendary weapon, scar, one epic, shotgun, and one blue. You can mix up two, like you have that, or you can pick blue AR, green AR. Rarely have grays, because in our normal scrims, gray weapons will not be there. The exception is the flint knock, which would actually be an end game now. Or probably maybe the this sniper right here, this SMG. Maybe. And that's a maybe. I'm not saying well. Or the honey rifle actually. So I mean, that's how you make a loadout. You can add traps too. For most zone wars, people get annoyed by traps, so it's best to avoid it. Like damage traps, no one really likes it. These are just annoying a lot of times to other players, so I wouldn't add it. But I would add the launch pad and the bounce pads. I wouldn't exceed like let's say six for them and one launch pad. And then for these, tr this campfires right here. I would actually add these. These need to come back to the game. They are really good. You might not think it, but you could actually blast in the storm a pretty long time for this. And it's portable too. So, this is actually a good item. I would suggest using it. Now, these, I would add these to the map. I wouldn't just make them in a player spawn. It's possible in like the other map I'm about I'm going to show you afterwards. I'll show you that I did that. But. It's not good to add these in the loads. A lot of people think it's annoying. But that, like, there, there's your load. See, so to add to the thing, you place down, uh, you place down this trap right here. 
and uh, you, I'm not going to do it because I already did it, but you place it down. And then all you do is once you get the settings, wait, these settings right here. You go over here, and you just drop the loot, everything. And say you only want the guy to have certain metal traps. You go six traps right there. One launch pad. One, three, two campfires. See? And then it'll automatically suck it in. And make sure you do the ammo and mats too. You know, automatically suck it in. You know, you'll be good to go. And then after you do this, uh, you kind of want to do at the storms next, I would suggest. You could go into these settings right, right uh, here do that but I'll show you that in a second but I would do this I would go here click on this one this one you have to have this one for these ones to work now this is all I did you really, you can make this whatever you want you always this has to be the highest this is saying how far the storm can go away from it so if I make this one 100 and I make this one uh, I make this one max move distance uh, to 400 it won't move that far it will only move 100 so, you want to have this one, the max distance. For example, right here, everything's about 100 meters away. 100, 100, 100. Actually, that's 50. So, that's on one side. That's kind of bugged. Actually, no, wait. It's right there. So, yeah, like 70. Uh, that side right over here will be like uh, or 70, I think. Yeah. So. I could have done this better. I could move this a little bit, like right here, and then it'll probably be good. A little back, who knows? But I made this map just real quick. This took me not long at all. Like this right here. This was the tower. I accidentally broke it. I'm just too lazy to put it back. And you could add tons of things. Like you add campfires on the ground. Players could stoke them and everything. You got traps, everything. Doesn't matter. Now, uh, storms, this is what I would suggest. You want to go to here. This is, what I, this is not all I did. This glitches out. I don't know why. But this is actually what I did. So, I did phase one. Because that this phase one right here doesn't count. It's only this one. So, this is phase one. And the end radius is 75. Pretty big, pretty big. Now, the first one should be quick. 30 seconds. Don't have it a minute. One tick. Move randomly. And this is important. You have it move to beacon. It'll just be the same storm over and over again. But you have move randomly, it'll be random. So, uh, you see as this, I just have it like that. That You don't really want to mess with this. You really just want to get B. Uh, so, I keep that one. But then I went up here. I switched it to uh, 2 damage, 3 seconds again, 40. I made it smaller and 2. Move randomly. 10, 10. Didn't do anything there. I believe the storm ran first random. 3, 30, C smaller. 2 ticks still. Randomly 30, 30. See, I moved it. So, a hat, the max it could do is 30, and the minimum it could do is 30, so automatically it moves 30. Uh, this one, I, to 5 tick, that's the best thing. You can't do, can't do 3 or anything, it has to be 5. So, 4, 20. This is where it's getting towards end game now. 30. You can also not do it. You can also delete one of these, zoom it up a bit, slow it down a bit, make it a minute. 5, randomly 30, 40. This time it could go. It could go 30 to 40. The max it could do is 40. The minimum it could do is 30. And again, let's just see this. 10, 5. This is the first one where I made it one minute because players need more time because this will be where they'll get hit and they need a second to heal up. 7 tick. I might not. I might change this later. Who knows? 30, 40. Didn't do anything there. This is just a too small, a small map to do anything. 5. So this is the really slow. And this one, you might even want to do one minute, but because my map's small, I did that. Kept the tick, move randomly, 30, 40. And this is the last one. This one, you want to pay close attention. You want zero, you won't see it. Five seconds, you might want to add time, like a minute. One minute, five. You want this to be the highest out of all of them. And you want to be a 10 tick, move randomly. And you want to move 40, well, actually, yeah, you probably want 50, but I'm going to keep it 40. You want to move this a lot. A lot. So, so anyway, so that's the storm. Hope you get. You can just go back if you want to check it out. You don't have to copy the settings. You can change it. Doesn't matter. You want this one right here also to be in the center of the map. If it's not in the center of the map and you have it like right here, 
your storm's going to get past these barriers, which I added. And now, the reason I add barriers is because I didn't want this map to be too big. I want it to be more small. You can add barrier on the roof. I don't really want it to, though. So this is the barrier. I'll show these settings real quick. It's not important to have this. You can just put the prefabs on the ground. And this is my settings. I have uh, this, this, this. Actually, here, this one. This is what I have. I just have 100 or 100 because I was just like, I don't mind more, though. But on the barrier problem, this is an important one. So, they, players could shoot the ground and fall through right now. But I put this barrier here. And this barrier, it goes up exactly three blocks. See? One, two, three. And this is what happens. It goes up 100, 100 whip, so infinite that way. But the height's only three. So players can't, they can damage to the ground with RPG. I'll show you that. But they can't pickaxe it. So that's that thing. Now, the last thing that you really want is this voice chat. It's all Mac team. I would put on all Max players, 16, team 16. Split evenly. No, that's, I think it just glitched up. Yeah, split evenly. Actually, that, yeah, that's right. Match wiki type. I mean, I, it, I didn't do anything. I made this map for that, so I just go keep it off. Aw. Uh, yeah, just keep that. End of game, spawn limit 1. So this is where you want spawn limit 1. It'll be infinite and start. After one spawn, go to spectator. You add mount rounds. You want at least 16 for everyone gets there. Uh, all the loadouts, but you don't have to exceed it. Uh, every round is team rotation. Always have this on. Uh, you don't have to do that. Don't have to do that. I would, I would just keep this like that. 8 minutes. We can just change that to where we want. I mean, I, like, I can have it 15, it doesn't matter. The storm's really determined. But, uh, let's see. Wind condition is most round winds. Keep that. Most round winds. Don't do anything here. Not here. Or, but this is. This will be automatically off. You want this on. You also want this on, too. It'll be on this one. You want to change it to this one. The, you don't change that. Don't change that. Don't change that. Uh, auto start. That doesn't really do anything. Uh, you could put this on. It'll make it a little sweatier. Not a little sweaty. I wouldn't. It's up to you. I would turn this off. It's on. It's not likely they'll be able to get out of the map, but I would turn it off. This does not matter. It's really broken a lot of times. You could do whatever you want here. Like, you just keep this at 1. You put it at 2. It doesn't matter. Friendly fire. I would keep that on only in case you accidentally glitch it out. That's important. Player collision, keep that on. So that's the first one. Now for here, I wanted my night theme, so I put night theme. You can do all these to however you want. Does not matter. Does not interfere. You want to have this like this: hundred shields and max shields. Turn these both off. You can do whatever you want. I'd keep it at five hundred. I put it on five hundred. Now this is really debatable, but I hate running out maps and having to like destroy twenty things to just get like one build. So I put it on creative, and then I put the multiplier on two, and that basically, I'll show you in a few minutes, it'll basically, like when you hit something, you'll get like a hundred mats per hit. And it's really helpful in end games. I would highly suggest it. Uh, allow aim assist, you can do whatever you want with that. All builds, allowed to edit, default, you don't want anyone. Uh, building can destroy the environment. That is really important, you should have that. And you should have iron mat damage, player build only, or all. I would do all personally. Because all means you can damage everything. Structure damage all. Uh, 100%. You can change that. That just means that the weapons do more damage than builds. So you can do whatever you want. Then I would keep this on default. You can have none. Doesn't really matter. This basically means if you want a player, you want pickaxe someone, you can. If you turn it off, they can't. Now I would keep this on. You can change this if you want. The, that, again, does not matter. This. You want to keep it off. Uh, this one you want to play uh, drop. Drop. Iron pickup. Yes. You can just do whatever you want. This does not matter. Respawn time. They don't respawn, so it won't matter at all. Do whatever you want. Spawn unit time. This is the trick one. So default, actually, just none. That's really what it is. You have none. You can keep it at default because it doesn't really matter. You can put it on wherever you want. It does not matter at all. Fall damage, keep that on. Jump cheek, you can turn it off or on. 
I would prefer off. I think it was accidentally on, so I'll turn it off. Glory plate, turn that off. Off. That does not matter. If that's this is on and this is off, then won't this won't turn on. This doesn't matter. Now, this is a tricky one. You can eat. if you want everyone to see the guy's name, you can do always show. If you want everyone to not see the name, you can do always hide. I would just keep it up team only because it, it's unlikely he'll be on the same team. Uh, you keep this, do this where you want. I suggest 50, 50, 50, and 50. Gold does not matter, so put it on zero. This, don't damage the thing of this, just keep it like how it is. You can do these. If you have it off, it doesn't matter too much. I would turn this off. This, again, does not matter. And th th this doesn't really matter too. But this is what you want. You want count up, count down, does not matter. This it does matter. You want this this one three. This one as low as you want it, depending on how you want it. Seven six. You do not want it at fifteen. This low. This one does not matter. I wouldn't suggest this, but you could have it. It's only that. It's not very helpful. You have this too, it doesn't matter. You show this is pretty helpful. Anyway, this is a important part for this. If you want the player to be placed on who's last standing and not the most eliminations, you want the scoreboard win condition health. If you want it based on eliminations, you have this in that spot. But I would have it like this order. Health, eliminations, eliminated, damage dealt, damage taken. That easy. I also have this as scoreboard, not overview map. It's usually better. This, do not do anything with. This does really do anything most of the time. Uh, this does not matter. You can just add whatever you want. I don't have anything. You can turn this on. Turn this on. Does not matter. Now that should be it. You can just add your name here again. Mine is called Screen Shooting Room. Add descriptions. Yeah, you can add your friends. Have it like that. It just does not matter. Now, anyway, I'm going to show you now what it looks like. So I'm going to start the game, and you'll see. As you can tell, it's still in. You start with your pickaxe, so you turn it off, you turn it on, it does not matter. Now, this is only for this team and that team. It, I was trying to make it where it works, you don't have to worry about that. So, this is the loadout you get. It is the first one. Harpoon stuff, shoot, storms, random. I don't know where it's going to go. Once I get the circle, it will automatically switch. See, I had traps. I believe that's the only thing I add for this loadout, but I know I added some, uh, pads here so I'll show you the storms real quick it won't take too long yeah see the town is counting down so that's when the game will automatically end it's unlikely you want to make that higher than your storms we keep on infinite it doesn't matter but this is how the storm looks see add whatever you want you got a tree there a tree there that there that there that there does not matter I didn't add cars I, I think it would just block the way of a player. Like, he, there's a player that spawns right there. I know, because I'm in the map. And he'll just run out, and if there's a car right there, he has to destroy it, or it'll get him scuffed over. And it's just really annoying. That car was on the max, so I just didn't delete it. But as you can see, this storm, random. And if you have a storm scout sniper rifle, it even doesn't know where the storm is. I find that a little annoying, because it's like, oh, if I add the storm uh, sniper, it'll actually see where the next storm is. It doesn't, it's completely random. But as you can see, you go in, you get shot down, you get shot up, it does not matter. The player could rotate that way, and this will just stay in the walls and barrier. As you can see, it's just barely in. I had to make sure it's customized perfectly. See? Now look, this next one, really far away. It's all the way over here, I think. So this is constant action. A guy can go back in his own tunnel if he made one that way. He has to go the circle, shoot up, down, and there is fall damage. The launch heads do work, and the storm does not. See? I would highly suggest these settings. You can just cut your map full straight, I don't really care. <laughs> but. I highly suggest you doing something like this because it will add a better gameplay to your videos, your maps, your friends will like it most of the time, you have your friends choose map. So this is what I mean by when you hit something you get tons of math, look at me, zero, zero. 
60, 120. So that way, if you run out max. Break me one wall. Get tons of max to build the next circle. You have enough mats to crank up the fight, shoot. You might get screwed if you get stuck on high ground. You might have to free out a safe way down. And look, you can't break this. Like I said, you can't break it. If you have RPG, you can break it. I'll show you that real quick. So I'll just respawn. It's a six level, so I'll just I keep respawning. But the RPGs can damage the ground, but they can't actually break it. So you're really good on that matter. So even if you, they break the ground, you'll just float in the air, as you'll see once I get the RPG. Now this is the lot. I was trying to make it so you add these builds, but it only works with player team one and two. So it's not that good. But the RPGs will break the ground and you'll float. Not the best, not the worst. But anyway, if you have, if you want any more, I might have more videos soon. I'm mean, just been away for a while. You can just do it. Like, see, right here, I have had a chance when I went in, broke this wall, went right here. And I was like, oh, I could easily get out. I break this, and I get stuck right here. Right here. Because it's hard to jump through this, and you're thinking, what? That's so easy. No, you'll hit your head on this right here. So that you'll hit your head, and you can't go. And then you'll get jump fatigue, because sometimes it doesn't work. And you won't be able to get through. This is a one tap, by the way. But look, like this garbage can is just right there, chilling. Guards right there, and just pick it up, put drops on, destroy it. Does not matter. Light panels, trees, yes. Metals. You should probably. Here's the other tip, real quick. When a player boxes up in a real game, even though this will definitely not be like a real game, he'll probably have more builds like just random walls right here, random ramp. Yeah, just random ramps everywhere, but. Players will box up, rarely using wood. Rarely. So, I added a lot of wood, but that's just to make it easier for the player to get out. Because, right here, if he doesn't metal, it'll take a while. It's like, four pickaxe swings, five pickaxe swings. This is just two, so it's easier to go one, two, out. One, two, three, out. But, you do use metal. And, in hindsight, if I had to redo this, I would probably make the center ones metal outer ones would that way the outer ones can get out easily and not get shot by everyone whereas these guys they have to get, do it for a minute and then when they get out they'll have enemies shooting at them now you add this and you'll be automatically as the game predicts like you'll be just like random like that or like that or like in this does not matter I'll keep it like that I change it you know just do several changes whenever you feel like it like say you didn't like a loadout Say you didn't like one of these loads. Instead of destroying this, I need it back. Just do this. Go there. Click down. Clear items. Boom. This cleared. Add new stuff. That easy. I, see, at first I did try to throw it down here. I was like, no, I don't actually want to do that. Because what I don't like is that when you break the floor with guns and stuff, it just doesn't look nice on this. Like, here, I'll show you. If I break this, like, look, this looks great. Now I break this. Now there's a weird like, just a road. What? That doesn't make sense. And I, I, that's why I wouldn't do it. In real games, I wouldn't. There's other things you can do to make a more advanced map. Like, I'll show you that later video. But that's just that generic way to make a Storm Wars easy. You got as many storms you want. You got to add up to 50, I believe. Let me just check real quick. Yeah, you add up to 50. Does not matter. You add Finny Blade, Spawner, Traps, anything. Max, I wouldn't, would, could. You add random spawn heals throughout the map. Whatever you want. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. And that's it.